Hello everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and finally welcome to Farming Simulator 19 here. We are, well this is the first time I've actually had a chance to record a video at home. Um, if you guys don't know I was in Germany for the launch, uh, well for the build up to the launch with Giants themselves and didn't have time to uh, to do this. But we're now back and this is the first time I've had because I've been working to actually record a video. So hopefully you guys don't mind too much. Now we're going to be starting off on Ravenport here. Now I have some ideas. Um, so actually what we're going to do before we do anything from here is we've got a tractor that's the only thing we own so far and um, as you can see it's pretty much used at the moment it's all worn and stuff like that but we're going to go ahead and buy two pieces of land today yes two pieces of land and i'll explain why in a second um so we're going to go ahead buy this land here and we're also going to buy this land down here which is going to cost us i think it was like five hundred thousand. i forgot now um, so now we're already down from 1.1 million to two hundred and fifty six thousand dollars so that's what most of our money gone already now one more thing we're going to be needing is this is just a bit of a wasteland we've bought. This is obviously isn't a farm just yet. This is just a bit of a wasteland. We do now, however, own three fields, but we need somewhere to live. So you're going to be thinking that's all your money gone if we do that. Uh, in fact, we can't even afford the farmhouse. But I've been working on my own mod. Well, it's not really a mod. I just sort of changed the uh, trailer to look like this. So it's £45,000. This is going to be our place to live. In fact, I might actually not put it down yet. I might put that at the other place. Um, we'll come back to that. But basically, I've took the decoration trailer and put all the sleeping stuff on it, so we can actually sleep on it. So let's go ahead and jump in to the tractor, first of all. Right, so we desperately need to wash this thing. As you can it's pretty dirty, but it should be all right today. Let's go ahead and get it turned on like this. And we'll head down. So head tracking is working. They've kind of made some improvements with the head tracking. Now it's sort of as if we actually have the head tracking on shoulders, whereas in FS17 it was just rotating. Like now, for example, it kind of simulates being on shoulders. I have spotted one issue with this, though. Can't really look up the back, but I'll try and change my settings or something to do that in a second. So, you guys probably may have guessed by now, the reason we bought the other land is we're going to put some stuff down there. Um, it was this bit of land for sale we had up near the town. So I thought we're going to go ahead and go there first of all. Hopefully it'll make sense to you in a second. So, we're actually going to be needing to take out more money as a loan in a second. I'll explain why in a minute. Um, right. That field there is quite nice, actually. You might look into getting that one at some point. But I'm going to go ahead and drive to our new bit of land, and I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, so we are now just coming towards the town here, and that we've got to take a left here, make sure no cars are coming. Take a left here, go straight forward. Now this used to be the animal market of the town, but of course now that's been built from scratch and put into the middle of this bit of area. But you can see where it used to be here, so we've got an old, what looks like a sawmill here. If I go to the third person. We've got the old animal dealership there. This looks like cows used to come from here because there's those milk, uh, what do you call them, cartons or... How do you jump out? There we go. So as you can see, we've got the milk things here. And we've got like the little uh, animal walkway thing here, which is pretty cool. So but this is now abandoned, so we don't need to worry about any of this. But this is why we bought this land here. As you can see, we've got this massive flat bit of uh, grassland here now. So we're going to be building on it. So first things first, let's go to placeables. Now we're going to get the cow pasture. Not the large one, just the normal one. Uh, we actually need to take this all the way up here. Dang it. Okay, so we're going to try and find a place for this here now. Um, of course, we can't perform the terrain much at the moment. So we need to find a nice little sweet spot. I think there's one around here. Okay, so we found this is as far back as we can go and as far forward as we can go. So let's go ahead and plop that there. So then we have a cow pen. One more thing we want just for a bit of something to do is we're also going to add a horse paddock which is going to cost us fifty thousand pounds now if you didn't know you can hold c and it will snap to grid like so we're going to rotate that around like this and the reason for that is because the bit of hut we can see on that is actually where we unload the horses and stuff so all right let's get that into there we'll go back as far as we can like so so there we go there is now the horse paddock and the cow um pasture 
So we can't actually afford to put anything in them just yet. We're now down to $100,000. As you can see, the money we started off with literally a couple of minutes ago has now gone already. So we will be getting some horses. Oh, a horse at one point, because uh, that's a good way of making money. I know Landy keeps telling me he's pretty much made like 10 grand off his horse already. Um, but we also have the cow pasture as well. Now, I just personally, before we get going to any farming stuff, um, we put, we got those fields down at the what I'm going to call the wasteland until we turn it into a farm. Uh, we want to get some money done from them as soon as possible before it withers. So what we're going to do is rent a harvester. As you can see, we've only got £100,000, so we can't afford to buy anything. So we're going to be renting most of our gear. We do own this tractor, which is good. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we can get for what price. Let's go to harvesters. Right, okay, so we are now arrived at the yard. We're going to go ahead and turn the beacon lights off. Uh, we need to unfold this. That should be good. So... We're not going to get much money from this field because we're actually going to set off a hired worker to do this for us because we just want to get this land done before it all withers because, like I said, for the first couple of videos, we're not going to be down here. So then we're just going to go ahead and lease this hog combine. So we've pretty much lost money already from this harvest. But as long as we get it done, it should be good. It all adds up at the end of the day. Makes our losses a bit less, at least. Let's go ahead and turn this around here. Let's maneuver this around like so. So we do need to buy a trailer as well at some point so we can actually go ahead and do this right that's now on so this button here i believe is hide worker i'll explain why i'm saying that in a second um right let's get you turned on let's jump out it's cool he's now going are you dropping a swath yes you are good and um, we need gonna be needing that of course so before we get animals we do actually want to make sure we've got enough stuff that stuff over there is still growing out is canola and we've got sunflowers there which we're gonna need to rent ahead of four in a second uh, we don't actually own that field over there just yet. So let's go ahead and tab back round to the case. Okay, so um, as you could probably tell by the thumbnail and the what I'm going to be calling this video, we're going to be building a road going towards our stuff over there. We're going to turn this into like a bit of a yard sort of thing. Um, so let's go ahead and head up to the store. So we're going to be renting mo yet more equipment. Like I said, we are really short on cash right now, so... We're going to be scrounging the bottom of the barrel for sure. We also have a loan that we're going to need to pay back at some point. Let's go this way. Um, but yeah, quickly while we head up to the store, I'm probably going to get at least one comment. In fact, some people probably will comment it before I even get to this stage in the video, saying, how do I set up the wheel and side panel? I'm having issues too, so unfortunately I can't help. This is all default stuff, which is why I'm saying I think this button does this, I think this button does this. So mine personally worked. Um, let's go ahead and try and do a really sharp U-turn here. So yeah, mine worked when I just plugged it in and didn't touch it. Whenever I tried to remap stuff, that's when I had issues. So plug it in, leave it, and it should... Oh, nearly crashed into that car then. It should work. Let's go ahead and turn into here. As you can see, you've got the head tracking working fine. It's a little bit sensitive, and you make it a little bit more stable so you guys don't feel sick watching my videos. Um, right, let's go ahead and stop this here a second. Let's get up the store. Oh, one of these is the store. There we go. So like I said, everything's default, so... There is some nice stuff that I've never had on my side plan before, like the store, for example. Uh, we're going to need a plow. Let's get the Salford one, because we're not going to be needing to reverse it anyway. Uh, let's lease this for £1,000. Good stuff. Um, so we'll get this turned around now. So it's quite cool that I don't actually have to use the keyboard anymore, but I will be remapping everything when the uh, bug fix for that comes out. So I know a lot of people are having issues with the controllers and stuff. Giants are aware, and they are working on it. Uh, so just give them a little bit of patience, and hopefully it will be fixed very, very soon. Now let's get out of a minute. There we go. Like I said, I don't know the controls, so that's a good example of that. Right, so head this plow. We'll take this plow down to our new area. We're going to start making a road. We're going to do. There is could be three processes to this, although I'm only going to, probably going to do two today because the other one. Come on, car. Yeah, the other one. I tried it out the other day, and it looks okay in some areas, but looks a bit rubbish in other areas. So we might not do the third stage today, but. We'll do the first, definitely the first couple of stages. So let's go get our indicator on. Do we have our beacons on? No. Let's get them on real quick. Indicator is on. No. You can hear it. Right, let's turn this around here. So this isn't the most powerful tractor, but it is the uh, the one we decided to go for today. This is the, obviously the tractor from FS17, which is, of course, a mod. Uh, the reason I'm using this one is because I want to shave the fent for Felsbrun. Felsbrun? I don't know how to pronounce it. Right, let's go ahead and get this turned into here. Now, another little cool feature. We also have the uh, F1 menu now on the side panel, which I've never had before. Um, how do I change this so we can allow create fields? 
Awesome stuff. So probably where we are now is probably going to be as far left as we can go. So let's go ahead and drop this down if I can work out which one that is. Oh, there we go. So number 20 is lower. We should now be... Okay, so we should now be creating a path. There we go. So this is only stage one. This is how we actually make the path, and then we're going to make it look a bit more blended in at some point uh, in a second. I just need to work out how do that. So button 20 is... Let's get a head track and turn off a minute. Just save the battery. So field, uh, button 20 is lift up. So let's get it lifted up like that. We'll have to put it into reverse then. Of course, there is no reverse on this. Right, let's reverse back down here. It's going to be a bit bumpy. And we'll make a start on the second one. So we're probably going to do two widths to make it that wide. Uh, so one more up, then we'll go in another direction sort of thing. Right, make sure we don't accidentally dig this into the ground, because we do have create fields turned on. But how are you guys finding FS19? Apart from, of course, the obvious bugs, it is a new game, no, give it time. Uh, how are you guys finding FS19? I'm really, really enjoying multiplayer at the moment. Really am. Right, let's get that lowered back down again. I know I said I'd be doing a proper review of the game, and you guys, or some of you guys in Discord, stuff, I'm going to ask when that's coming. Uh, I need to record it. But it is coming. Of course, you can tell by my voice I've been video, and also, like I said, I've been waiting for the willpower. I didn't just want to do videos for the sake of it, like an Xbox Pro, just for the views. Um, I don't do YouTube video. F I don't do YouTube for the money, so I'd rather wait until I had the wheel and stuff working. So you guys get what you subscribe for, basically. My channel is always at the wheel cam. I don't want to do videos without the wheel cam for farm sim, especially. So yeah, that's why. I, if I was doing it for the money, I would have just uploaded videos with the Xbox controller. But that's not me. I wanted to wait until the wheel was working properly. Right, let's get this rotated around. Cool, I should do a bit hard to reverse with a plow on it. It's almost like it's having a dolly wheel, but not quite. Right, let's get this little middle bit done here where I've missed a little bit. And we'll get set off in another direction. Right, okay, ready. So that should do it. It's a bit rough, but like I said, it's only just so we know where we're going, sort of thing. Like, have some sort of roads better than having no road at all. Now, I do want to fix this end bit here real quick. So we we'll get the just as we head out here. Oh, that's hard worker. We we'll get it lowered and go about here. I reckon that didn't do anything, did it? No, no, it didn't. Let's try it again. All right, let's get that lowered down. There we go. I'll get it turned off just so we don't accidentally build a field heading back to the store right so now we're done with this plow next thing we need is a power harrow so i'm gonna head back to the store get this switched out for a power harrow and then uh hopefully get this looking smoother than it looks now right okay so let's go ahead and for now we're just gonna head and put this here because i can't bother to drive on the back of the uh, store let's get that disconnected like so probably should have lowered it first never mind right power harrow uh we can use a cultivator if you want but the cultivator is a little bit too big so we're gonna go with We'll go with this one. This one's, wait, how much is this going to cost? It's at least 1,400, 1,200. Yeah, every penny counts. We'll go for the little blue one. I've not used this one yet. Um, I use the red one usually, so hopefully this one works the same way. Right, let's get this reversed up in to the power harrow here. Like so. Oh. I keep thinking I've still got shutter mode on. I've been using, obviously, drive control for so long. That I'm getting confused with the reversing. So if you, have, if you hear this and it doesn't do anything, it's me trying to put the tractor into reverse. And then usually I drive forward when in actual fact I went to one backwards. Right, hurry up then, car. Right. Let's head back to the uh, the area, shall we? Right. So finally we're back here. There's only around the corner, so I say finally. Right, let's get this taken in. We're going to go ahead and turn the power harrow on. So this should get this looking pretty smooth. So the harvest is finished. You can see up there how it is completed the task, which means that field is now harvested. So we'll go ahead and unload that in a second. But for now, let's get this lower down. And we'll get this looking smooth as we can. So over time, of course, this will look a bit 
more natural when all the grass and stuff's grown back around it. But for now, it's a new road, so it's going to look pretty rough. Let's get that taken over like that. We'll get it lifted up. No, nope. well, I did it again. I tried to put the tractor into reverse. There is no reverse. Right, let's reverse this back here. Right, so this is the best thing I can think of for guiding paths for now, paths and roads for now. It, it works. It's not ideal, but it works. There we go. Start working on this one as well. So now we're just mushing up all the mud, making it nice and smooth and flat. So over time, when we're obviously we're driving down it and stuff, we've actually got somewhere to go. For now, at least. Until I can think of something better to do. Right, let's get that lifted up here. Tractor's really getting worked here. It can handle this, obviously. It's got the horsepower, but you can really hear the RPMs trying quite hard there. Okay. And also, I was going to try and put the motorhome down here, and I think I'm going to go back to the wasteland with that. That could be like a little yard area. So that's what I'm going to do in a second after we finish this. I'll put the caravan down, or sorry, the trailer down, because we're in America. And in fact, I'm just going to go ahead and do this whole pass. See if we can go around here. Like so. Let's get this flattened as well as we can, or smoothed as well as we can. Like that. Let's get it lifted up. Go ahead and do a little U-turn here. Can't track to get into reverse. Go on, power! Right, let's get this lower down on this little bit here. Like so. Awesome stuff. So actually what I need to do is get a thumbnail. So there's going to be a little jump here. I do apologise. I haven't actually took the thumbnail just yet, so bear with me. Right, there we go. So this should be the last piece now. Let's go ahead and see if we can do this in one go here so we don't have to reverse anytime soon. Yes, there we go. So actually it's pretty flat. We've got a bit of a road now. Like I said, this will slowly blend in over time. At the moment it's quite prominent because we've only just made it. Let's get a turn off. Make sure I've not missed any. Uh, no, we seem to be good. It's a little bit narrow on the corner. We'll fix that at some point, but that should be the majority of the road done here now, just so we're not ruining the grass. And also, we've got somewhere flat now for when we bring in the animal trailers and stuff, which is the main reason I did it. I would have just drove on the grass normally, but now we actually have somewhere to put the animal trailers down that's a bit smoother. Um, in fact, I just want to get this little bit here done. Right here. Let's get it turned on again. And uh, low drop her down. Cool, there we go. Let's get that turned off. So now, that's the road done for now. Like I said, I'm going to make it look a bit better over time. Uh, I'm going to get a wall put down or a fence or something put down as well. So that will look better over time, trust me. Um, but for now, I need to go ahead and unload that harvester. So we should have at least half a trailer of wheat. I'm going to be disappointed if we've got less than half a trailer at least. So let's get this power harrow taken back. And um, we've got a trailer. Right, okay, so let's go ahead and pick this trailer. We actually bought this. This isn't rented. This is £8,000 for this trailer, which is pretty good. It's pretty cheap. Let's get that hooked up. Uh, so, of course, now we technically have a bale trailer or something with pallets and also a grain trailer because you can, of course, take the sides off this thing. But before we go any further, I got certain these. These are simulate stickers. They're cut out ones. I've got a huge stack of them. Uh, these are samples. If you guys are interested in some simulate stickers, not to buy, I'll be giving them away. Um, let me know in the comment section, put hashtag stickers in the comment section down below and I'll know you guys are interested in them. Um, I'm not going to, every single person that puts that doesn't mean you're getting a sticker. It means I know there's interest in it and then I'll do like a, a video where you guys can win one or whatever. They're really stickers, but I think, they're, I think they're pretty cool. They're still in the packaging as you can see, but yeah, they're pretty cool. They're cut out and everything. Um, and also, I keep getting questions about FS19, when would it ever be on sale? How come it wasn't a Black Friday sale? It's a new game. It's not going to be on Black Friday. So, however, I can recommend you guys go to Instant Gaming. There's a link down in the description box down below. There's a bit of discount there if you guys are interested. Or you can pick up Farming Simulator for a, a discount price. So, once again, I don't get nothing for that. But you can go ahead and do the Instant, instant Gaming link down in the description box down below. If you guys want to get Farming Simulator 19 at a discount. Uh, but, yeah. Let's go ahead and take this down to the, uh, to the harvester. Right, so we're now approaching the yard to see where the harvester is, just over there. So we're going to cut across here. So we do have some shops as well. We're going to get look at the birds trying to pick up all the uh, 
All the straw and stuff there. Look. So we're going to be bailing this up. We're probably going to have to rent a baler. It would be cool if there was like a small comb, but the brakes are terrible on this thing. But that should do it. Let's tab into here. We'll get the pipe out like so. Unload this. Now, we have nowhere to put this just yet. I don't really want to sell it just yet, so we're going to leave it in the trader overnight. Um, but I do want to get a silo, at some, a silo of some kind at some point. But let's get back into the case here. So yeah, we need to get a corn header for that. And also, hopefully the canola is going to be grown soon. So we don't have to take the harvester back and rent it again. But we are now... Well, it's now empty. The combine is now empty. We have 2,837 litres of wheat. So that's going to help. We can't put the cover on it when it's this small, can we? No. Okay, let's get the beacon lights off here. We don't need them anymore. I need to find somewhere to put this. But like I said, before we get going, um, I need to put this down here. So that's... There's our road there. It looks alright when you're up here. Um, hopefully it blends in a bit better at some point. But let's head down here real quick. We're going to head and put our temporary motorhome down. I'm going to put it here. Um, let's do that. Uh, is that too much? I think that was too much. Right, so the motorhome is now done. We're down to $32,000 already. We've spent a million dollars, over a million dollars in one episode, which is pretty mad. But as you can see, we now have a temporary motorhome. Can't afford the house just... Oh, that's a bit bumpy. I can't wait till the terrain brush comes out. Um, so the difference between this one... Um, let's get that turned off for a minute. So just jump out. So the difference between this one and the one that's in decorations... So you will have this in your game under decorations. There we go. Farm trade, 25 grand. Um, I've put this one here. I've put the triggers on. So I have uploaded this to the mod hub. It's up to Giants whether they release it or not. So if you guys want it, don't nag me. Uh, giants are now have this in their possession just for testing but it's a pretty simple mod it's just the normal in-game trailer but of course if i go up to here we now have the sleep functions we're not tired tired just yet but it lets you sleep here so it's basically a temporary one you can't go inside it um which i think is a good thing personally because it makes you then actually upgrade to the house at some point as opposed to just keeping this for the whole let's play which some would consider cheating um so yeah this will be temporary. It's your new save game location, stuff like that, your new spawn point, until you can afford to buy the house, which I plan on putting about there somewhere at some point. But thank you very much for joining me in this episode. A bit of a random one today, but I thought, um, it seems we're going to be doing a lot of animal-based stuff on this map. Let's go ahead and get our animal yard started. I won't say finished, because we're nowhere near finished, but we'll get it started. So we now have somewhere to sleep. We now have uh, three fields that we can play with in the background. We also have the cow pasture and the horse pen. Um, I need to get a dog at some point as well. I'll probably put the dog pen down here, but it's, I'll wait until I get a bit more money. Probably put it about here. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for joining me. If you did enjoy, please tap that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. There is going to be a Feldsbrunn Feld's episode coming at some point. This is like I think it's something clever to do. But thank you very much for joining me here on Ravenport. Once again, hit that subscribe button to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.